We're on the corner of Foothill and Spruce Avenue by what used to be China Buffet, but is now a row of six new modern fresh restaurants. Let's go check it out. Spruce Plaza was originally a Chinese buffet and it was an old uh, 1960s, 1970s era wood shingled uh, building surrounded by vegetation with, you know, uh, a sort of a dilapidated parking lot and just kind of an eyesore for the City Ranch Cucamonga. And what we did was we worked with the City Ranch Cucamonga to redevelop the property into what is here now, which is a, um, a really vibrant, uh, small shopping center that's all food and all great cuisines, uh, six tenants, uh, diff all different cuisines, and uh, it's just been a large success. Located on the southwest corner of Spruce Avenue and Foothill Boulevard, right below the Terra Vista Town Center, this new center will draw locals from across the entire city to one central location for all their dining needs. We try to create something here where if you're leaving the office with a group of friends or you're going out at night and you have a difference, you have people wanting different things, we try to create something where they would naturally gravitate towards one spot. And I think we've accomplished that. Every cuisine here is not is not the same. They're very different from each other and they're all popular. So you can get in a car on a Friday night with your friends and say, let's go out to dinner. Where should we go? I don't know. I want this. Maybe I want that. I know where there's a good selection and this is the place to be. And I think that is what people would love to have so they don't so they, they don't have to think too much. They just go to a place and they'll find something they really love to eat that day. Really excited about the restaurant mix. We worked really hard at it. We had a ton of interest because it's such a great spot. I think they are the best in class of those each concept. And just in no particular order, we have Habit Burger, which is soaring in popularity across the country. It's a darling on Wall Street. Um, great burgers, great ahi burgers. Good price point, you can get a $3 and $50 burger, or you can get a, uh, you know, an $8 ahi burger. You don't leave feeling like you have no money left. It's a great concept. Next to them is Cafe Rio. My personal favorite in Mexican food, uh, it's just unbelievable. Once you have the pork dish, you just go back for more. It's like, it's like an adult candy that you just can't get enough of, and you just keep on eating, eating, eating. And uh, it's inspired, it's very authentic fresh ingredients, everything's prepared on site. That's what you're gonna see, is that these concepts, they really reflect what is in demand right now, which is fresh ingredients, high quality ingredients, uh, quick service, they don't wanna sit forever, people don't wanna sit forever, really interesting food, and a, at a price point that doesn't break the bank. Because people like to eat out a lot now, and so they don't have money, they don't wanna spend 25, 30 dollars every time they go for lunch or dinner. And these uh, concepts really hit that that sweet spot for everybody. Next to that is Tokyo Joe's, Asian fusion concept, poke bowls, um, salmon bowls, rice bowls, noodle bowls, uh, beer and wine. They uh, having tremendous uh, build out inside. You don't feel like you're at a fast food restaurant. All these guys are called Lux casual or fast casual in the industry because you're getting this casual dining experience, but you're getting the quickness and the price point of fast food. Jersey Mike's is next door. Anybody who's out there looking for sandwiches, they know that by now Jersey Mike's. It's, uh, it's a popular place to go for sandwiches. These four restaurants began construction in late 2016 and were able to open their doors in April of this year. The last two, Blaze Pizza and Luna Grill, will also be opening their doors around the holiday season. The center is unique because it's got a little bit of a modern look, but also it's um, all restaurants. So normally we have our shopping centers where there's a few retails and a few offices uh, locations, but this actually is six different restaurants. And also um, traditionally in Ranch Cucamonga, you see a lot of Spanish style or a lot of mission style, but this one's got a modern look. Um, we've got a lot of metals and woods going on, so it looks a little different too. This center has been, a, in my opinion, a much needed uh, uh, injection of energy into the area. The power center is a beautiful power center, the Terra Vista Town Center, and, uh, and it's been really successful, uh, but it's 15 years old. And so this has brought a lot of people together, especially millennials and Generation Xs, and then there's a ton of people that work in the area. Um, there's 25,000 people that work within one mile. And so you have City Hall, the court, Mercury Insurance, uh, their regional branch, 
You have a lot of office buildings. So what it's done is brought everybody together uh, to eat. And that's what people like to do nowadays, is they like to, if anything they do outside, it's usually entertainment and eating. And it's really become a focal point for the community. Uh, City Ranch Cucamonga, at the end of the day, uh, supported us. and. Uh, we're, we're there for us, and I think we, we found a, we struck a right balance, a good balance that you're seeing reflected in the artwork, the mural designs on the walls, the amount of uh, diversity in, in, in the construction and elevations and so forth, and the courtyard with the benches. I think you're seeing a product of the City Ranch Cucamonga sort of uh, putting its stamp of approval and its, uh, its, its mark on the shopping center. And I think it's enhanced the product uh, ultimately. So I've been happy with uh, the result in working with the city. I think it'll definitely help with the economics of the community. We have a lot of people, not only that work in the area and eat in this center, but they'll also be coming from outside of the city even because they know that these, this lineup is here now. So I think it'll be a really positive impact. I think people are excited. I know a lot of people in the city were excited and a lot of local residents are excited and it's bringing people from outside the community in um, to come eat. I mean there's six new restaurants, they're all in one place and they're all restaurants that are pretty popular and really um, well loved so I think it'll just bring a lot of people into the community. We don't have, um, we actually have a lot of local areas also you can come visit that are around this area so like Victoria Gardens and there's movie theaters and there's all kinds of things to do in this area. So I think it'll bring people into the community to visit and they might find other things to do while they're here. So it'll be great. So next time you're looking for somewhere new and fresh to eat, come stop by the Spruce Center. I'm Madison Perry with RC Spotlight and we'll see you next time.